Hold up, man. Barcroft got the risky shit. I got to make sure this can be cleared. It doesn't look like anything bad. We'll find out. Father of two, oh. Dale Decker. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. First off, this fit is crazy. This fit is fucking crazy. Yo, four pins. Four pins hook this man up. <laughs> the fucking laser tag feel is. Oh, God damn it. Second of all, if there was a shot to not make me take this serious, is that one right there? There's nothing pleasurable about it because even though it might physically feel good, the whole time inside. <laughs> is this fake, man? His name would be Dale Decker. In your mind, you're completely disgusted by what's going on. And depending on where you're at, if you're in public, if you're in front of kids, if you're around strangers, I mean, it it can make a person break real fast. Yeah, no shit, dude. Girls want round two, and you're already like, I can only imagine. Eight over two hours. That's torture by some definition, man. He said in front of kids. That's convenient. That's convenient. Oh, yeah, you know, and, and it's really bad when I got to just oh. in front of these kids. You know what I'm saying? The 37-year-old is the first man to ever speak publicly about the condition known as Persistent Sexual Arousal Syndrome, or PSAS. When you're on your knees at your father's funeral, that is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Why? 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 Why that? Why that? Dad, if there's... Uh, something. <laughs> if I had a chance, you know, I would have. I would have said. I would have said more. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck. <God>. Oh. <laughs> There's so many situations where that's bad, bro. And you're saying goodbye to him. And then you have nine orgasms right there while your whole family is standing behind you. This makes you never want to have another orgasm as long as you live. But you know what? You just keep on coming. He he had to he had to say coming. He really had to say that. <sighs> Couldn't have chose a better word. I'm telling you, man, it feels fake. I don't feel bad yet because it feels fake. You know, it just keeps on coming. Makes me absolutely nuts. Dale, from Wisconsin in America, was enjoying... I know this is fake because they sent an English person, or they hired an English person to voice over a documentary that was shot on an iPhone from Two Rivers. They're like, all right, we'll get David Attenborough's niece to talk over this shit, and that's how we're gonna, that's how we're gonna get one on. ...his suburban life in 2012, when he slipped a disc in his back while getting out of a chair. They put me in the back of the ambulance to take me to the hospital. And on the way there, I had my first five orgasms, and they've never stopped. Is it just orgasms? Like, no nut? Like, is he just, like, getting the feel? Because a slip disc? That's all it took? A slip disc? Just got out your chair too fast? Just fucking... Ah, mm, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, fucking... Yeah. Forever? This shit says whole one? Really? Really? Come on, man. This is fake. This can't be real. But he enjoys playing frisbee golf with his closest friends. Oh God! They happen at oh. all times in any situation. They have. Can't they just take out the moaning? They couldn't have, like did him that bit of service. They happen when I'm awake. They happen when I'm asleep. They happen in the shower. <laughs> I just had nine rather powerful orgasmic sensations flow through my entire body. And now it feels like every muscle from here to about here is doing this. While the condition is so rare most doctors can't even diagnose it, it is widely acknowledged by specialists in the field. Let's do a little, let's do a little research here. PSAS, Persistent 
genital arousal disorder. PGAD. <laughs> PGAD is rare and is not well understood. Bitch, did they write this just to make this video? All right, whatever, man. Why incognito? Do I do I need to exp Um and Okay, Dina. All right, Dina's going to tell Hey, shut up. Everybody shut up. Dina's going to tell us what the deal is. Let's let's see what she got to say. Necessarily sexual. Um and they have no idea when this is going to happen or how often and can lead to intense suffering. We tend to have arguments about stuff that really shouldn't be argued about. She's like, this man nuts five times an hour, and I ain't, I ain't nutted in, like, years. And PSAS is even affecting Dale's relationship with his children. They don't have a relationship. He doesn't go to, like, practices because he feels embarrassed, and kids don't know about his condition. Uh, yeah, bro, you can't just be at a PTA meeting fucking coming your face off. You want him to sit there at a fucking kid's dance recital just nutting himself? Just like, ah, 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 yeah. Oh, real nice, Stacy. That was good. Oh, it's coming back. Uh, 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 uh. So, the kids don't <coughs> quite understand why Dale won't be there. The threat of a spontaneous orgasm isn't the only thing that leaves Dale. Yo, his knuckles... I think they say free, but I definitely thought that said, like, Trey. <laughs> How fucking funny would that be if he just had fucking Trey Way on his fist? Trey Way, Trey Way, Trey Way shit, man. Trey Way! Sometimes I have an <laughs> erection for three, four hours at a time, off and on. They just come in. Dog, that's, people pay so much money to have that. And this fool just... Go, like, 30, 40 a day. It's really hard to deal with. It's possible to have sex with my wife. We don't very often because it becomes frustrating because for me, there's no end. Desperate for help. <laughs> you know what, big dog? We can relate. We feel you on that one. We feel you on that. There is no end. There is no end. <laughs> oh, I feel really bad, man. This is probably real, but I can't not. I can't not laugh. I mean, I can, but then that would just make me like, I don't know. What is this, fucking CNN? I'm not paid to be nice. Let's go. When it comes to sexual issues, people get very... Mm. Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh. Go ahead. <sighs> I've never seen anything like that before. Who is she coaching, man? Yo, hey, exes don't count as therapists, man. It's not real treatment. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just undermining all these people. There are no words. It's hard to know if it's if it's real. This makes me want to find him some relief. <laughs> she said, I don't know if this is real. Son just, he just nutted and waved his hands in the air like he ate something spicy. I've never nut myself and then it went, <sighs> fuck. It's like in his eyes. So that's a good chili right there. Shit burns. It's hard to know if it's, if it's real. But even in the face of such desperate odds, there is hope for Dale's future. It's uh, very brave of Dale to come out and publicly talk about it. It's very, it's very brave of Dell to come out and nut himself. <laughs> it's a medical condition. I think it's in his head, and it's not. He's okay. got a real medical problem. All right, this is the real champion right here, Dale Decker. How do they even find this dude? Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Hold on, now. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. Time out. Time out. Offsides, flag on the play. Booth review, hold on.
after reviewing the play, ruling on the field is uh, we're we're getting the fuck out of here. That w- that was heavy, man. Read the article. Okay, all right. A man who hit headlines when he spoke out about the rare condition that saw him have hundreds of uncontrollable orgasms a day has come out as transgender and is now living as a woman. For the past five years, Christine Decker has been battling ultra-rare persistent genital arousal syndrome. But since coming out as transgender in June of 2015 and beginning therapy, which reduces the level of male testosterone, she's now living as a woman called Christine. And the number of daily orgasms she experiences has plummeted from 100 to 8. Good for her, man. Eight's good. Hey, she did what she had to do. I agree with that. I can I can co-sign that. She did what she had to do. 